Look at this. Look at this thing. The man is going. Well, greetings. I'm so glad to see you all back again. This is Jake here at the Night Science Club. That's right. And I'm Jake Wizard 4, and this is Beckett. Beckett. So I guess we're done. You did that pretty good. He rehearsed those lines for hours. Many times. Many times. So where are we at? The Night Science Club. Yeah. And your name is? Beckett. That's right. Beckett. So we're going to do something today that it's just to torment Beckett a little bit. I'm going to try to get him to think like a scientist, and then I'm going to see if I can get him to fly. First question I want to ask, how much do you weigh? I weigh about 100 pounds. 100 pounds. So we're going to take that 100 pounds of you and see if we can make you well, we're just going to put you in a new transportation device. It's a little 100th horsepower or 1 200th, I don't know, it's very small, even though it's, what's the name? It's, it's called the Titan. It's called the Titan, you'd Teeny. think it'd be something. Yeah. The Mouse. Titan Monster 550, wow, this must be a powerful thing. The amazing thing, I think if we work it right and use a little science, we can get this weak little motor to move you about. Oh yeah. I had you draw a circle before we started, right? Yep, circle. That circle was about the diameter of this. And what is this little square? What, are, what did we measure that at? What is that little square on there? One inch. So your estimate of how many square inches are in that circle, what would you guess? I just asked, grab your beard and go, hmm. 40 or 50 inches. Well, you're good. I think it's about 40, that's not bad. We got a little bit missing here, but you know, about 45, 50 square inches, that's great. Just imagine a stick made of air, right? That's a square inch a stick of air and went up like this. What do you think? Give me an estimate, what do you think that way? 200 pounds? 200 pounds, that's some heavy air, Jack. What's going on? 200 really. 60 miles of air. Oh, 60 miles of air. Well, actually, this bowling ball right here, I picked this up at a bowling alley, a used bowling ball. Weighs 14.7 pounds. I finally found a 14.7 pound. See, 14.7. There, there, 14.7. Right there, 14.7. That's what this bowling ball weighs. So if I would take this bowling ball, put it right there like that, and push down on that square inch. That's the weight of the air pushing down on that square inch, is this bowling ball. Well, just imagine that's how much is pushing on the back side of this propeller. Surprise, the propeller doesn't break. Well, well yeah, good question. Why doesn't it break? I don't know. He's thinking, this is, this is what we're here for. Did you see that little head of his going, it's the steam started coming out. There's 750 pounds of air pushing back here. Why doesn't this thing snap off? Because there's still some air pushing on this side. Let's give the man a hand. Very good. We got some air pressure still here, right? You feel smart? Yes, Feels do. good, doesn't it? Feels good, good. like Feels I good. figured this out. Real good. Real good. So if I hold this card up here, there's about 750 pounds of air pressure pushing on this side of the card. That's a lot of weight. So what's pushing on the other side? The same amount of force. Same amount of force, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So it's just sitting there. Yep. I wonder how we could just take some of that air away. So if you grab it real fast, something's going to rush back in there. But if you could grab it fast enough, yeah. grab, 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 grab. You could probably get that thing to move. Yeah. You know anything that we grab some air? No, I don't. Well, it is right here. This little thing right there, that propeller. It moves through the air in such a way that it lowers the air pressure on one side. Right. So we made a device in your honor today. We're going to put this engine on the device. We're gonna fire it up with electricity. We're gonna get, get this thing going. See if we can lower the air pressure on one side enough to move your 100 pound carcass. So would you go get the device? There the man is. He's in the chair. The spinning chair of honor. Here you are. You're gonna be flying a what? Broom. Have you ever flown a broom before? I've never flown anything. I've got the juice right here, I've got the battery. I'm gonna plug you in in just a second. We're gonna okay. put your goggles on, we'll do that. Yep. And you notice, you see the cable? Yep. And the battery yep. will go down here. Yep. And that's not, that's a camera. We're just gonna be taking a picture of you in case, you know, there's a lawsuit or any kind of damage or any of that stuff. And beyond that is the, the little motor we had. Yep. It's okay. wired up. And you should be able to go on a nice flight. You ready to go, buddy? Yep. Okay, you got that thing pointed up? 
That way, that way we don't have any thrust until we actually get this thing plugged in. Oh, there it almost took off. I'm gonna lay that there. I'll get out of the way. And there he goes, the mighty Beckett. He's, oh, look at this. Look at this thing. The man is going. Now, if you want to slow down, twist it up a little bit. Okay, Beckett, now turn it back up and we'll see if you slow down. Yeah. All right, give it some more gas. Let her go. Wee doggies. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, slow down, Jack. You're doing all right. All right, all right, all right. They give that man a hand. That was great. Here, I'll unplug you. Well, anyway, I'm really proud of you, man. You did great. Thanks. Yeah, that's great. So if you like what you saw today at Midnight Science Club, Midnight Science, you can join us all over social media. We're on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and some other things. Oh, Patreon. Yeah. If you really like us, you can join us on Patreon and see the behind the scenes how we do all this all this nonsense we did. So thank you for being with us. Yep. Enjoy that. That's pretty cool. It was really cool. I'm a happy wizard. I'm a happy wit.